Four days till I leave. Three days till I leave. Two more days till I leave. One day till I leave. Two to three hours to drive to Montreal. Bro, I was supposed to practice my French. I didn't. <laughs> That's my car. They're finally leaving. I'm back in my room and I had a good cry. <laughs> it's just emotional, but like logically I know it's fine and like I'll enjoy it. But <laughs> these stupid eyelashes are still. I'm gonna look back at this and start cringing. I hope my mom's crying right now. I hope she misses me. <laughs> For the past week, I've been asking my mom, like, are you gonna miss me? Are you gonna miss me? It's okay. Four months of suffering, and then I, I'll go back. Hi. It's been like maybe two hours. I'm over it. I'm fine. My roommate still isn't here. Um, I wish they were. Okay. So this room is not what I had in mind, but it's like one of the things that I wish I got. So there's like the normal one, which I wanted because it was like cheaper, but it was like worth it. Um, which is just a regular like hotel room. It's just a regular roommate double room. And then there's like the large double. And then we got this one, which is a large double closed room, which is like, it's a double, but it's two rooms. Like there's a door in between us and I get my, my own space kind of. I have literally one, two, three, but there's no like ceiling light which is kind of a bummer. So if I want to light this whole place up, I have to turn on three different lights. Whenever I stop and think in the silence, I start crying. So I've just also been playing like, heyday. <laughs> Hi, this is what it currently looks like right now, the desk situation. My roommate is here. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy. She's from Chengdu, which is like the city in China. And if you're seeing this, which I hope yes, but also no, um, we're going to eat soon, maybe. Um, it's like almost 6.30. Also, my parents, <laughs> my brother told me they're in traffic going back to Ottawa. And wow, big L for them. They've been, they went like three kilometers in an hour or something. It's kind of crazy. Um, but I'm not there. Having stuffy, enjoying life. Dinner, that's roomies. 
I don't know what's going on with my nose, but anyways, let me tell you about the process, okay? A few months ago, or like even a year ago, in 11th grade, when I was like searching about universities, I was so excited to leave. I could not imagine staying at U of M, staying in my home for another like year. Like I wanted to get out and do fun stuff. I think it was when I got rejected from Ottawa, like U of Ottawa, and I started like thinking of my life in Manitoba in case like all the other schools because Ottawa was once but Ottawa was like my safety school in a way. At least I thought. But I got rejected. So I was like crying, blowing my eyes out, rethinking life decisions. That's when I was like, oh staying in Manitoba is not that bad and I actually considered it. And then I got into McGill and obviously I was so excited. Um like a few months ago I think when I started packing, I think, was when I started to get scared. <laughs> like, really scared. Even the last week. Like, last week, I was like, I really didn't want to go in a way. And then, yesterday, I finally started feeling really excited. Because I saw people's stories that were going to McGill. Like, the international students, even. They were, like, packing their luggages at the airport. Being in Montreal already. And I was like, I want to be that way. I want to be with them you know um anyways the whole thing was i was i was ex super excited scared really excited and then now i'm here i'm more excited for like what will come and frosh and the people i'll meet um worried because like i don't even know where the garbage is yet i don't know where the laundry place is yet but i'm also low-key still emotional <laughs> because my parents just left and in my eyes, I'm so 18, too early to leave. Bye-bye. Here's the process. My bag, I packed so much clothes in here, it's insane. Um, but I'm finally gonna unpack my clothes and put it into that drawer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired right now and it's only two and I still have to go meet with Emily and I'm excited because we keep texting and it, she seems so nice but we've never met yeah she's on her way here <laughs> Hello, so currently it's like almost 11. I went to Bill William. I still don't know what to call him. I'm so sorry. I know either one's fine, but um, I finally got this TV. This stupid, I thought it was useless TV. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and see how it works now because I got the, the deets from the guy upstairs. The guy on the 19th floor. Thank you. This view is so nice, like I'm so jealous. Okay, it's gonna be settings, support. Oh my god, it finally worked. I'm so happy. I've been struggling so much. <laughs> Happened, but that was insane. We literally, me and my roommate were going to eat um, a dinner at um, RBC, so not our cafeteria, the one beside. And then a bunch of people were like outside. They were like, "Hi!" We're like, "Hi!" And they're like, "Oh, we're gonna go eat like at RBC. You wanna come?" We're like, "Oh my god, us too!" So we went. There was like 16 people in one table. We ate together. We talked. We I literally passed my phone around. And was like, give me your Instagrams to everyone. Pass the table like the last supper, okay? And then, here's the crazy thing. We have our mandatory meeting thing with floor four and five. So then we go up to the 20th floor, which is so pretty. It felt like high school, even though I just came out of high school. Thank you to Ariel, who led us and introduced us 
I'm starting to enjoy uni life. Honey, you look kind of hot. The next one. <laughs> it's oh, for the it's next, for the next video. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when my friend is mysterious and all sort of that thing. The first. <laughs> You're saying? I saw her. <laughs> I don't know why. She was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was like, okay. No, okay, fine, you're so fine. welcoming. Fine. What are you doing? I'm vlogging. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Hi! Eh? 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 so full. We're sitting on the stairs. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Is there reflection? Hey. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the oh whole kind God. of plan. 48 mental age. What's the She's 17. <laughs> 27. I'm 29. I've reached. William Zang. Please leave your message after the tone. <laughs> Which lobby this one? <laughs> That, that we would hire for you. <laughs> 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 <Even? laughs> I I literally have been speaking more Chinese than English, which is something I didn't expect. Mm, my feet don't hurt that much anymore, but um, it's so tiring and frosh is starting in like the next two days, which is gonna be so tiring. And why are all my friends in science? I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Good to be there.